Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your end of July reading. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Um, keep in mind that, you know, if this reading feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. Okay, if it doesn't feel right, then it's not your reading. Okay. Typically, my readings are for people that are struggling singles or people that want to be single, you know, that kind of thing. Um, or struggling, you know, looking for a relationship. That's typically who these readings are for. They're really not for people that are in happily ever after relationships. They're not. They're not. Okay. So, this is for Capricorn, end of July. There could be some communication coming in. Something is happening. Something is happening. Whether it's communication or just some swift action. But this is discontent and somebody that is dishonest, okay? This person doesn't have focus. They don't have drive. They don't have ambition. They don't have integrity. So I'm not sure what that is. We're going to have to get some more cards. Um, avoiding disaster. That's where you're at, right? I just want to avoid this disaster. Thank you very much. That would be good. I really don't think I can, I can go down this road. Um... There's been a lot of guilt. There's been a lot of worry. Some, but it's that somebody, somebody is trying to let go of that worry. Trying to give it up. I'm giving up on that. Yikes. Okay, so there is some sort of... Uh, something's going on behind the scenes. There's some hidden forces here. Okay, there's something going on that you can't put your finger on. Some kind of secret. Okay. And it's not making you happy. It's making you discontent. I see the discontent. There's some worry about this. Whatever it is. I think that you have done some work to let go of some sort of worry. But now you, you know, there's some kind of door. Nines are about doors closing. closing and these are both reversed. So I'm, 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 I'm thinking about this here. We're going to, uh-oh. So this is walking away from something. It's just not worth it. It's not worth it. It's really not. I can't be involved. I'm, I don't need to deal with your ego. And this is a card of ego as well. So somebody is headed in your direction to communicate very, very quickly. So you could be receiving uh, communication from somebody um, that has deceived you in the past. Their ego got the best of them. You walked away. This is you walking away. And for all you cross watchers that want to switch it up, no. Okay. This is Capricorn walking away from somebody with a big ego. Because it didn't lead to commitment. It didn't lead to wish fulfillment. Ah, that's exactly what it is. And somebody wants to come back. Somebody wants to come back. So, let me get this zoomed in. You know, that's what this is. Somebody wants to come back. Somebody is could be headed in your direction. We have Pisces. We have uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Scorpio. Could be any sign, but you could be receiving fast communication with, from somebody that didn't fulfill your wishes in the past, they didn't really want to commit, and you probably walked away, their ego got in the way, they thought they won, the grass isn't greener on the, so on the other side, you know, they didn't act with integrity, because that's in the past, the page of pentacles, there was somebody that didn't want anything solid, they didn't want anything stable, it ended, it ended, okay, it broke apart because it wasn't solid, but now, we have this moon card, which is, you know, something's been cooking behind the scenes. There's been secrets. They've been, you know, keeping to themselves, trying to escape, you know, how they truly feel, trying to escape commitment, escape commitment. But now they want to come back. Uh-oh. But you may feel like, you know, <laughs> this ain't worth it. It's really not worth it. Other people see that you are letting go. This is how other people see you. They see that you're not worried about it anymore. So maybe this person, whoever it is that wants to come back, sees that, you know, I'm not worried about this shit. 
But your challenge is this moon card, which is is not letting illusions get the best of you. Somebody could come in and, and say, you know, whatever, anything. The moon is about, is, can be lies, okay? It's something that is, you know, it's not all told. So they'll say something, but they're not telling the whole truth, okay? So your challenge is looking between the lines, okay? That's your challenge, to look beyond, look beyond what, what's coming out of their mouth. Because, you know, I'm not sure that, that this is going to end in anything long term. Oh, God. The Two of Swords reversed. It's like seeing the truth. I think that somebody... Oh, try not to be in my chest at this point. But this is somebody seeing the truth. Um... They've 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 blocked they've blocked their their feelings they've blocked their truth for a long time, and I think the challenge is now for you to see the truth. Okay, to see the truth when this when you get this communication. Now keep in mind that the timing is fluid, so this could this could happen this week. Whenever it happens, this this may not even be your reading. Okay, I don't know who this reading is for. Somebody has been watching you from afar. Okay, somebody has been watching your social media or driving by your house or talking to your friends or trying to get information, even if it's silent information, if they've been doing it, you know, nonchalantly, somebody has been trying, they've been overstepping their boundaries behind the scenes. That's what's been happening. Um, Lies are being exposed. The truth is coming out. That's what all of this is right here. The truth is coming out. Oh, here we go. Somebody may want a commitment now. Somebody may want a commitment. Somebody may be listening to their inner guide, deciding, you know what, it's time. And you could be dealing with a Taurus. I gotta sneeze. Either way, somebody is deciding that, you know what, I, I want to... I want to commit. I have faith in this situation. This is liberation. This is freedom. Freedom from ego because it's over this it's over this card and this card. Is somebody stepping outside of their ego? After they've stalled and postponed it for so long, they are, they are, you know, somebody hasn't worked hard enough. They haven't put in enough effort. Maybe they realize they haven't put in enough effort. And now they, you know, they want to come back. That's what it looks like to me. This is the ships finally coming in. I realize, I realize what I want in my future. This is realizing what you want your future to look like. Preparing for it. It's like seeing things through new glasses. Something needs closure. Something something is incomplete. Something there's a something has not come to completion yet. Something still needs to be dealt with. With what though? With what? Something has somebody's procrastinated, they've stalled, they've done everything in their power to deny the truth, but they have been able to let go, unable to stop looking, un, un, unable to stop um holding on to it they've been in a mental turmoil they've been mentally trapped they've been really disappointed and now they have to step outside of their comfort zone 
there's been a lot of hurt there's been a lot of suffering you know true suffering brings true growth so somebody has been suffering but through this suffering they've learned a lot somebody is taking the lead being the boss they want they want to commit somebody wants to commit here somebody is finding the the strength within them to bring structure back to their life somebody is making a decision this is very decisive this guy is very decisive he's very and this could be anybody taking on this energy but this is somebody making a decision to protect what's theirs to do the right thing to dominate to take the lead There you are. There's a bond. There's a strong bond between the two of you, between you and another person. I don't know who this is. There's an opportunity here for, or I don't know if it's an opportunity. There should, there's going to be communication coming in. And it's going to come in unexpectedly, out of the blue. Okay, it is. It's going to be like almost impulsive communication. Somebody has this epiphany. All right, I'm ready. I'm going to do it. I'm going. I'm getting on my horse and I'm trotting on in there. I'm going to communicate about how I truly feel. I'm going to tr communicate about this bond. I'm going to I'm going to take the lead. I'm going to be the boss. I'm going to step outside of my comfort zone. I'm going to have faith in this. Because I understand that I can't control destiny. So somebody has is probably they want to go back. This is going back. Somebody wants to come back, okay? That's what this is. That is exactly what this is. Somebody wants to come back after they have stalled for a long long time. I don't know what the hell this is. There was a lack of togetherness and there probably could be. It's like, you know what, you didn't appreciate me in the past. Maybe they realized that, th they, that they didn't appreciate you. This is lack of appreciation. They took advantage. Somebody took advantage of another person. I was naive. This is this is no fertility, no growth, no new beginning. No passion. But somebody wants a new new opportunity. So oh my goodness. Somebody sees your stability. Somebody has decided that they see your worth. Somebody has is offering a new, stable, solid opportunity. And this is this is a gift from above because they have been unable to grow or have passion elsewhere. And now there's a new opportunity that they want to offer you, Capricorn. And for the rest of you cross watchers out there that want to believe this is the other way around, I'm not that reader that tells you to make it fit for you. I'm not. I'm not. This reading is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Capricorn is about to get an offer from somebody from their past. Or somebody that wants to come back. Could be a past life even. Somebody wants to come back and that's all there is to it. This will not resonate with every single person. And, and you know what a narcissist does? A narcissist tries to flip it. So don't try to flip it. So Capricorn, you have a, a, a opportunity for a solid beginning with somebody that could lead to something long term. This is long term. But there's been somebody that was taken advantage of, somebody that wasn't appreciated. Uh, it ended in disaster and now you know I think something is coming back around somebody has hurt they've gone through a lot of suffering um, and they've grown through this suffering with that three of swords and they're trying to let go of this sorrow I think they're regaining some faith they're finding some faith and they, they're thinking about you know how they can step outside of their comfort zone to communicate that's what it looks like to me they've been stubborn and they've been holding on for quite some time and now they perhaps they want to invest. Now, you know, it's something you perhaps you've been waiting for this to happen. 
this person has been stuck for quite some time. They've been leaving you stuck and now they're seeing things through a new light. Through this period of being alone, they've been enlightened. And now they, they see things through a new perspective. So I feel for Capricorn, there's an opportunity here for something solid, something stable. Now this could even be somebody brand new. It could be. But for some of you, somebody wants to go back. Somebody wants to come back. They want a second opportunity. They want another opportunity. They didn't appreciate you. They've come to the realization, whatever, that they didn't act with integrity, that they didn't do the right thing. And now they want to communicate. I don't know who this is for. It will not resonate with every single person. Um, you know, maybe you've taken this time to focus on yourself. You're focusing on everything but love at this time. You know, you may be feeling a little bit bitter. You may be, and I just opened up to this card, which is funny. You may, you may have just been like, you know what, I don't need this shit. I'm going to focus on my money. I'm going to focus on my job. I'm going to focus on me. I don't care about love at this time. You close yourself off. You take that time to figure out what it is you really, really want. You take this, you know, you become aware of who you are, where you're going, the whole nine yards. You're just working on your inner self at this time. And now somebody wants another chance. Somebody wants another chance. Somebody's coming in asking for forgiveness. And for all you cross watchers, go ahead and hate me. Okay? I don't care. I really, really don't. You can't flip this. Somebody wants forgiveness. But you may say, you know what? That's against my better judgment. This is doubt. Doubt that this person has changed. Oh. Somebody didn't see your worth. Somebody did not see your worth. Maybe they involved another woman. Somebody has been enlightened through suffering. They've suffered. They've had to grow. They've been stubborn. They've been procrastinating. And it feels like there's been some sort of shift. And now they're coming in to communicate how they truly feel. But I'm not sure that, that, you know, I think you've been waiting for this. You have. You've been waiting for this to happen. You've been waiting for this new solid opportunity. Now, this could be you've been waiting for something brand new because this can be a brand new opportunity. All right. Focusing on your job, focusing on yourself. You weren't appreciated. I'm good. Thank you. Oh, we're going to get two. Oh, jeez. Um. Goodness gracious. The union of hearts. There's a connection of love that defies explanation. Yes, there is. There is, Capricorn. There is. What more can I say? What are you going to do? Consider your foundation. Yeah, all right. Consider your foundation. You are being asked to look at how committed you are to love. Do you want this, Capricorn? Do you? There's an opportunity here for love. There is. I think it's with somebody you've known before. Perhaps the commitment wasn't really a commitment in the past. And now they want to resurrect it. They want forgiveness. That's what it looks like. Look at this. I mean, it's a beautiful union. It's meant to be. They're entwined. They grow together. You're being asked to look at this from a new perspective. Can you do it? Can you have faith? This is commitment. Somebody wants a commitment. Can you? 
So Capricorn, there's an opportunity for commitment here if you allow it. Something you've been waiting for could lead some to, lead to something solid and stable. It's up to you. It's in your hands. I'm sorry, cross watchers. Some of you will like this. Some of you will not because on my last Capricorn reading, a bunch of people tried to flip it. That's what a narcissist does. Stop doing that. Talk to you later.